The green itself, now called the town park, was once a pleasure ground for the rich and grand owner. The common people were never admitted, but with the advent of native government, its gates were thrown open to the entire public, and its walls and floor beds redecorated so that it is now one of the most beautiful parks in the south of Ireland. Close beside the park, at the southern end, is Clougher House, the home of William Mulchinock, whose most famous song, The Rose of Tralee, carried the name of the town to every part of the globe. It is around this song that the yearly festival of Kerry is largely centred. Tralee was formerly, preeminently, a market town, providing a sales centre for the produce of the fertile hinterland and also a convenient place for the farmers to purchase their supplies. Thus, the town itself dragged on in lazy routine, depending on the weekly market day and on the numerous fairs to boost the sales. The bacon factories alone were busy, and the creameries and the grinding mills for mail, of course. A few small factories, such as the Bally Mullen woolen mills, which are now closed, kept open on a bare existence. But with the coming of the industrial boom, the town shook off its lethargy and sprang back to life. Gone with the old inertia, mats took the place of fairs and markets, family grocers were replaced to a large extent by ultra-modern supermarkets, gone are the old workshops of the old craftsmen and replaced by modern factories, gone, or well nearly gone, are the old forges, they were replaced by modern foundries and garages. Gone too are the hoss and the hoss cats off the streets, and they are replaced by lorries and vans for the more expeditious transport of goods and merchandise. The basin and the canal that were once the lifeline of the town are now idle and silting up with mud. Oh yes, Tralee has become very much a modern town with a modern far-seeing council that has set itself the task, now nearly completed, of digging out the slums and lanes of the town and replacing them with modern dwellings. The town is very well provided for educationally. And not only does it um, cater for the needs of its own population, but uh, in some cases up to 50% of uh, pupils come in from outside the urban district. There is of course need for, uh, I would say, greater depth in uh, technical education and that's something which we hope to see uh, in the future.